Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh. I'm from TechSafari. In today's video, we'll learn about how to print on all the printers which support SK post commands uh, using Java. Now, before starting the lecture, let me just show you the example what I have generated through the post commands. Here we have the title which has a little bit more bigger size than the normal text box. And here you see the title is having a bold marking. The text, other text is normal. And then we have barcode in IDF format and code 19 format and the QR code. So this all we will see. And the code is very simple. The reason uh, I have created my own library. So if you will need this library, you can just shoot a mail to my email ID. That's yogesh.mela at techsafire.net and I will show you the source code. Okay, let's come back to the uh, program. The program is very simple. So you just have to include this post print uh, Java in your, you can say project. And uh, this code is kind of static. Like this is more of a like finding the printer and giving the printer name and just connecting to the printer. This is more of a printer code. So you don't have to worry about this. The one code which you have to worry about is this central part. What we are doing here is we are creating a byte array and we will be sending that byte array to the printer using this command. So this command is copy paste. So you have to use the same. So there is nothing logical out there. You can just use it and edit it, uh, it as per your wish. Now, this is the main part, as I told you. Now, coming to the uh, let's see the receipt and let me just explain you with the reference. So now if you notice the title is center lined. To align the text in the center, you have to use this command. Here I've created pos.printer. So all uh, all of them are either enums or the static class. So you have to call this method uh, in pos printer static class that is justification. Justification in that I will provide pos justification.center. So center is for center alignment. And then for increasing the height, there are multiple sizes. You can use any size, whatever you want. So it's like height double or B double two, three, four, five, six. So each one will be increasing the character size. So whatever you feel right, you can use that. And then coming to the normal. So in pause printer, the main concept is once you give the command, it follows for next all the text till the time you don't change it again. So here we have to set the uh, font size, or you can say character size back to the normal so that it can work without any issue. And then I have provided multiple lines. So multiple lines, this is the text and here get bytes will be providing me the bytes of that text. Then I will be again aligning to the left, you can say for uh, alignment and for these lines, all these are left aligned. To do that, I am using again the same method, pause your justification and pricing justification dot left. And then I'm doing the bold. So this is for, you can say setting the style for the character. I'm setting it to be bold. And then I'm providing my string, which need to be printed in the bold. And again, setting it to the none, because as I told you, once we set anything into the, you can say post print, it will be followed for all the receipts. So we have to set it back to the none. Once this is done, I'm printing the items and the things in normal uh, font. And for printing the separator, separator are nothing but these dash lines. I am just repeating the hyphen for and you can say 44 characters. You can use as per your pros printer. I am using 80 mm printer. So you can, if you are using 50 mm, you can just go for 34 and that's the usual size for 54 mm. So it will create a dash of 34 characters. Once this is done, now it's come to our, you can say barcode. Now these are the size of barcode. You can say the different sizes, width and all, like thinnest and thickest. We have multiple sizes. So here you can go for any of them. Thin, thickest, thickest and default. Default is nothing but whatever the default size will be. And once you do that, then you have to provide which, uh, you have to print the barcode, which is in the post printer barcode class, as I told you. So everything is either static class enums and in static class there are methods. So let's come to the barcodes. I have created a method. Yeah, so these are static members. And let me go into this pause printer. And within this, there's a barcode class. If I expand, so there are multiple. See, for code 39, there is a separate method. Also, you can call this print barcode and pass the type. Now, type can be of multiple type if you are printing characters then you should go with uh, code 39. Code 39 can contain characters. And if you are going for, you can say just numbers, then any of them will be working like code 128, ITF, all will work without any issue. 
so these are the one to generate the QR code again there is a library pause printer dot QR code dot print and then you just have to provide the URL and it will mount into the QR code for cutting the page again pause printer dot cut so this is once you create this byte array you just have to supply the same byte array to your you can say you have to create a document with a byte array and you just have to provide uh, send it to the you can say your printer with the job and this will print your you can say barcode now this solution will work on all the printer which support escape post commands so if you have any question you can reach me on my email id on phone number uh, this is my phone number 9023262520 and my skype is yogesh.mahalayatlive.com and email is yogesh.mahalayattechsapphire.net uh, I also like our company also provide uh, commercial support so if you need any help just put your email ID in contact and we'll reach you out thank you